Good evening, Zion United Methodist Church. My name is Pastor Rob, pastor here at Zion. Uh, just wanting to come before you this night uh, with a scripture and a short word and then an update with uh, some of the, the midweek message that I've been sharing. Uh, I just want to, to offer the latest that we have to offer this night. So I begin with Luke chapter 6, verses 12 through 16, which states, Now during those days he went out to the mountain to pray, and he spent the night in prayer to God. And when day came, he called his disciples and chose twelve of them, whom he also named apostles, Simon, who he named Peter, and his brother Andrew, and James, and John, and Philip, and Bartholomew, and Matthew, and Thomas, and James, son of Alphaeus, and Simon, who was called the Zealot, and Judas, son of James, and Judas Iscariot, who became a traitor. Well, as we enter into the summer season, there are many parts of our lives that are fun and engaging but run the risk of distracting us from our relationship with God. I would welcome you to follow the lead of Jesus. Pray to God with frequency of one who calls up uh, a friend or a family member to talk. Do so during the mundane things of life, before anticipated times of fun and joy, and during times of challenge or even sadness. In so doing, our relationship with God will grow, and we will come to find that God's presence surrounds us always wonderful and comforting thing to think of in the time that we find ourselves in this day. Well, this evening, the, the trustees did meet and have decided to once again hold an outdoor worship service this Sunday at 10 a.m. We will live stream that service by way of Zion UMC's Facebook Live and the YouTube found on the church's website. And I'm happy to share that we will also be celebrating Graduate Sunday this week, so come and support our graduates. In the weekly email that contains the message that I'm sharing with you now, a separate sheet entitled Guidelines for Church in Green Phase will be included. As we do so, all attending are being asked to please follow a few guidelines similar to what is being followed at other churches in our area. These include practices like keeping six feet apart, avoid handshaking or hugging, wearing a mask, and being prepared to listen to beautiful music instead of actually singing. Please be sure to bring lawn chairs and pop-up tents, canopies, umbrellas, so that your comfort may be maintained in the beautiful sunshine we're hoping for. Now, with respect to what I just said, there were only a handful of people that listened to any of those guidelines at last Sunday's worship service. Since then, I've heard from numerous people that were alarmed and made to feel very uncomfortable with gathering given the lack of attention paid to the requests made when we gathered together. Regardless of whether or not we agree with the precautions, please know our, we're asked to follow them, and our following them is an expression of love and consideration for those who are closely following the guidelines. Please come on Sunday and worship, but please do so by following the guidelines so that all can feel free and safe to gather and worship together. Thank you for your grace and love for one another in doing so. I want to share that the trustees will be continuing to work on guidelines for future worship and Sunday school space. We are making progress. Please have patience. This is new ground for us. Earlier this week, an email went out to the church with a survey for you to complete. Unfortunately, we're coming to realize that the survey that we are using is not helpful due to the limited number of responses that can be viewed. Soon, another survey will be offered by way of an online link, as well as through a newsletter. Your responses will help the trustees gain insight to the congregation's readiness and willingness to engage in various kinds of worship and Sunday school possibilities. Our first concern is the overall safety of our large congregation, along with those who will be in contact with our congregation following worship services. Please know that our motivation is one that is out of Christ-like love for all that are connected to Zion UMC. I want to continue to thank all who are supporting the life of Zion UMC. Your giving of tithes and offerings sent to the church through the mail as well as e-giving is a blessing to the life and well-being of the church. Please remain faithful. Summer is coming with all the activities that come along with it. With that said, the church will still be just starting into more demanding ministries as the weeks and months progress. Your commitment is key to vital ministry. I'm happy to remind you that Zion UMC will be distributing around 200 takeout meals at the Cabot Food Bank on June 17th. 
Please keep this ministry in prayer. I'm also excited to share that two small group studies will be starting soon. A separate email was sent out this week to the church regarding these opportunities. Lastly, we're seeking a person to or two to help with live streaming of the live streaming ministry that has taken place since March. If you might be interested, please feel free to give me a call. Your help would certainly be a blessing. Well, as we close our time together, I simply share that the contact information that I, that I would like to share for those who might be unfamiliar with it. Our church contacts and social media sites are as follows. Our phone number is 724-353-1720. The mail is 438 Bear Creek Road in Sarver, PA, 16055. Our email is office at zionsarver.com. Our website is www.zionsarver.com. Facebook is Zion United Methodist Church Sarver, and YouTube, Zion Sarver UNC. May God bless you all this week. Let us incorporate the presence of prayer in all that we say and do in the week to come. May God bless you all. Good night.